Hey everybody, it's Jenna and Jeremy with Quench Your Adventure. Get ready because we're about to show you our van tour. <laughs> There's a bug flying around my face. All right, let's get to it. Before we get into the van tour, if you all haven't already, please check out the video we posted previously that we'll link right up here of the van build and the conversion, some of the behind the scenes fun that went into it. We're Jenna and Jeremy. Welcome back to our channel. A place for travel, fun, and beautiful destinations. Now don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications to tune in to our weekly videos. You can find us on Instagram at Quench Your Adventure. Now on to the good stuff. Here we are off a dirt road. I don't actually know exactly where we are. Somewhere, I think, north of Taylorsville, North Carolina. To be more specific, here's the map. You can see Taylorsville right there, so I wasn't completely wrong, but we were a little west of there, about 20 minutes north of Morganton, North Carolina. Some sweet uh, free camping areas, and we pulled in last night. It was dark, so it's nice that it's light now and we can see what things look like. Let's get to the van tour. This is a Ford Transit Connect 2020. It's not actually my vehicle. It is a work vehicle, and for that reason, I'm not allowed to make any permanent modifications to the vehicle, so I've done everything as minimal as possible, and I want to show it to you. And if you guys happen to own one of these, you could do even more. Okay, quick note, if we ever fully were to van life and actually live out of a van, we would maybe consider something a little larger or maybe consider like cutting the top out to add like a topper so that you could potentially stand on the inside or just getting something a little taller because that's probably the main um, struggle with a smaller van is, you know, when you're inside, you're inside and you're not standing, you know, you can't really change that easily. Um, but we're working with what we got and this thing is awesome. We've got some really cool storage space up above the seats okay so this is just built in and we've got a hammock in there i know it's a little dark but we've got a spike ball random i don't even have the net it's just to play with the ball we've got a couple window shades tissues wedged in there jenna's rain jacket the shade for the window some toilet paper and some wipes back there so i mean that's already an incredible amount of stuff right there in the top that was already built into the vehicle down there we've got a, a rechargeable fan with a little solar charger that it's plugged into getting juiced up and at night that'll run for at least like the first maybe three four hours just to kind of keep us cool get us to sleep and off to a good night down here we've got charging station a couple usb ports our water bottles a couple little side pockets down there have like some chapstick there's a little charging station right here for iPhone 8 and above. So I have a phone sitting in there. And moving back to the more exciting stuff, the back. Actually, before I do that, I love that there's random little pockets here to keep, you know, pen, knife, light, whatever. And even under the seats, under the seat on the other side, I've got a slack line and a notebook. And then the doors even have storage space. So. On to the good stuff, the seats in the back. Uh, if you watch the other video, um, there's a clip in there where you can see how nicely and flat they lay and these things fold down on top. So it made for a perfect flat space to put the wood platform that I built. And I really, there's so much storage. I'm almost wondering if like I could have made it even a little lower. I made it about a foot high and there's a five inch mattress sitting on top of it. So that gives us a couple feet up above to not feel too enclosed and actually we slept in it for the first time last night with the new mattress and it was awesome extremely comfortable felt like we had plenty of room you can you know have your feet completely up and your knees don't hit the roof and we could even lay back there and watch a movie which we definitely will eventually so the lights are adorable and these uh, window shades again if you watch the build video you'll see I just cut it out of cardboard took a little while but really minimal and cheap and it was totally pitch black last night. So I was very excited to get the five inch mattress. 
After four nights of sleeping on this mattress, we can confidently say it is very comfortable and a perfect fit for us in our van. So if you want to check it out, we will put a link to it in the description. Because the very first time we used the van to drive and sleep in, we used a air mattress and that was before we had built the platform. So we were kind of lower on the ground. You didn't, you didn't, couldn't fit much. There was no storage. The second time we slept in it, we had our air mattress on top of the platform. The air mattress is like 10 to 12 inches tall. So we were sitting about right here and it made me really really claustrophobic and I was like oh my gosh maybe this isn't for me so then Jeremy and I the third time we slept in it we deflated the air mattress and got a mattress topper at Walmart and then it was like that and it was not comfortable we sleep on our sides and it would hurt and finally we have our five inch mattress <laughs> the Goldilocks and Jeremy of loves it because it's super firm I'm still learning to love it because I like a nice squishy squish it's got four inches of like I guess standard memory foam and then on the top inch is gel infused memory foams it's really really nice and obviously Jeremy had to cut it because it came as a full-sized yeah. memory foam mattress yeah this so full. you'll see that in the other video the cut it's uh it's actually a pretty rough cut I did just with the little razor like box cutter but um but yeah you can't tell it looks nice and it actually sits really nice on the uh rounded wooden platform so you know because if not we would have you know it'd be sticking out here and then if we didn't trim it at all a full-size mattress I think is about 72 inches I mean it would be out to here we probably wouldn't be able to put the cooler there or it'd be like sitting on top of it so really glad I did what it did and when you're laying fully flat on it your heels kind of hang over the edge but honestly we don't mind it at all and again we're trying to be minimal here so it makes for great use of space so on to some other things we have this cool hangy thingy that is its official name and um, we've got lots of our toiletries in there works like a charm and uh, we can even pull it out hang it wherever roll it up so let's show you under the platform just from the side access so got a huge duffel bag that's got a bunch of my clothing and shoes an extra towel um, down there we've got a couple extra water bottles and a few towels and then under you can see and got a random little block of wood here not yet not sure what that's going to be used for um, there's even this little tunnel that we call it so we got some duct tape sitting in there this is a backpacking camping chair that um, you just unroll this pop the little legs in and put the cover on got a nice little chair there a uh, random little tie for whatever you may need I am big into mountain biking so I've got some hefty knee pads in there for downhill I've got another little tripod here for my GoPro and uh, I think I've even got a couple other things stuffed back in there. Little... So this is just underneath the seats. Yeah, this isn't even or above. Like, this we would have anyway. We had this when we had the air mattress in here. This, you know, has no connection to the platform, so it's just extra storage that makes right. this an awesome vehicle. Here we've got a couple of these little totes that have this has like a little um like dirty clothes basket that's not yet filled because this is our first night on our big adventure. Uh, I kept some of this extra felt. Um, I use this for um, the, to put on top of the platform to make it nice. I kept some extra to maybe do like a tablecloth or something because I've got this wood panel right here is actually the top to our table, which is really minimal. We can show you that later. Um, we haven't actually used it yet, but hope it works. Basket and then of kitchen stuff. Yeah, we've got a basket of Propane. kitchen stuff. And then in the center, if you can see, there's a backpack, cardboard box with some stuff in it, a bike pump, tons of stuff. And that's just on this side in the center and not even towards the back yet. And so, our little blow up boat. Yeah, so let's go around back. All right, so right now I have the hitch on there with a bike rack, a couple bikes. Um, definitely worth it for us because we love riding bikes together and then I love riding trails in the woods. The downside is you can't open the tailgate when these are on, but I can easily remove them, fold down this, and then the back opens up, which we'll do in just a minute. But let's show you the other side. If you guys have not already, please, please follow our travels at Quench Your Adventure on Instagram. Got a website and stuff too. All right, so in here we got a big, uh, big jug of water and under, We've got, um, we've got this duffel bag, we've got our cooler sitting right there. 
Under here, we've got the potty. <laughs> <laughs> this honestly is my favorite thing about the van. Whenever we've camped or traveled and we didn't have access to a toilet, I would have to try to like squat outside in the woods and that as a woman is very, very difficult. I don't know if there's anybody who's tried it and it is very hard. So this is just a removable little potty where I usually find um, an area that is private or if not, we have a privacy shelter. Um, and <laughs> believe it or not, you can just sit it in the front seat and sit on it. So I know it's very personal and a little TMI, but people need to know that this works. This was $12 sure. from Walmart. And all you do is empty your contents into an area that is safe, clean out the inside with a little wet wipe, and it's very minimum and just takes up barely any space but makes me feel okay like going to the bathroom. Yeah, I mean it's awesome because <laughs> because it allows you to camp in a place like this for completely free and still feel like you don't have to go squat in a bush somewhere or whatever. Um, so yeah, it's it's been a great purchase. How much was it? Like 12, 12. bucks? That's 12. awesome. <laughs> That's amazing. I could have upgraded and got the $15 <laughs> one that has a real flusher. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, cool. So there's another look under this platform. We'll do another from the back now. Uh, there's actually the our paddles for the little boat are inside of there. <laughs> and then with laptop and yeah. iPad. Yep, little uh, tech bag there so we can do whatever work we need to on the road. Got some chip clips, a knife, a book, and oh yeah, that slack line I mentioned earlier. So now let's show you guys the back. Here we go, the back of the van. So platform sitting here, I put in these little supports that again I explain in the build video that keep it from going side to side. We've got a bunch more stuff. We've got a two person boat sitting back here, meant for one adult and one kid. <laughs> Who's who? <laughs> 1997 from Walmart. <laughs> 20 bucks baby. We'll see how that goes. I got a tape measure, those paddles I mentioned are sitting there. Um, there's a box of goodies right here, a couple bungee cords, uh, an extra tire tube, little rubber mallet, I don't know, random Bug sunscreen, spray, sunscreen, little suction cup hooks, hooks. Yeah. yeah, so the goods. The essentials. And then under here, if we do end up doing some bathing in like a river or something. Or cooking. Wow, I, I always want to like duck under this, but I can stand on it, it's amazing. Or cooking. Um, yeah, or cooking. Another cool benefit right here, this tailgate. It's massive. Like if it was pouring down rain, I it could provides still be shelter. accessing things. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this bucket here, it's so we need cute. To wash dishes, or if we were, you know, getting water to go, I don't know, wash our hair somewhere, and we didn't want the soap going in the river, you know, whatever. It's good to have something like that, and it goes down to that Sweet. size, and it slides right under there. So perfect. Uh, moving on, we've got. Another chair that's not nearly as compact compact and minimal as the one we showed you earlier, but um, still a great chair and we have plenty of room. So it's not like we even had to be super minimal. This is the privacy shelter that we, we haven't mentioned even earlier. So used it yet. It's basically just like a little pop-up tent that you could go in to change your clothes, put your little toilet, and you could even shower in there. I think there's a hanging thing at the top that um, you could put like a solar shower. We haven't done that yet. Wow, but, I don't um, know about that, we'll see. But we might. <laughs> I don't know. So pump for that boat that I mentioned. We've got uh, the table. So a little wing nut screws to uh, tighten it up. Sits right there. We've got our stove. And then this is the piece of wood that I had cut to slide right in there so it doesn't really take up any space. I can't believe how much and room and stuff we fit. You can just sit it right on there. And then you got the table with your stove. And you could sit put a potter pan or a plate, your your uh, forks, knives, spatula if we yeah, want to do eggs. Or I tried spaghetti. to tried to make a little extra room to um, you know. So actually... I could be sitting in this chair and I could be Cooking, yeah. I can cook, cook, cook. There you go. Oh, honey, what would you like for dinner tonight? <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> and yeah, I, I 
took some measurements, one, to make sure it slid nicely in there, but two, to make sure there was a little extra room to sit things. You know, it's not super stable or steady, so hopefully we'll we won't, see how it works. won't we'll burn see. the place down, but, um, but it's good. <laughs> Don't say those words. <laughs> Just messing. All right, a little yeah. bit more. I've got my climbing shoes. If I end up doing any, uh, doing some bouldering. I've got a bag of chalk right here. Well, with my chalk bag, and then the Coleman instructions and, then and we um, always have the kitchen lots wire. of plastic bags for our trash, and we have them kind of sporadically throughout the van, so that at any moment we can just kind of tuck away a tissue or a dirty wrapper or something like that. Oh yeah, have earplugs and eye mask. There's those cup holders that have where we store other stuff. Yep, we got. A little spot right there put some of those essentials and then other random little thing that i don't think i showed is between the seats that are folded down you can even stuff stuff so we got some little um water shoes a rope that actually goes with that boat and then uh, we've got a first aid kit in the seat back here so uh, an astonishing amount of stuff in this vehicle that is basically a minivan uh, as far as sizing goes so it really is amazing and um, we're stoked to uh, take some more big trips in it and go have some fun out in the nature out in the world so um, yeah thanks for watching hope you like the tour and we encourage you to do something like it yourself if you have the means to and again Follow our travels at Quench Your Adventure. And if you would please like this video or subscribe to our channel, that would be amazing. If you have any questions, we would love to help answer them. So thank you. We'll see you next time. Yeah, stay tuned. Time to adventure.